Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this heavyweight contender tournament final is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he now improves his record to 51 wins with 11 losses and one draw and 34 knockouts. He stands six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 254 pounds, 115.1 kilos. Back tonight, fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, he is the Scorpion Sting, Mladen Brestovac. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, now with a record of 26 wins and four losses, 16 of those wins by knockout. He too stands six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters, and weighed in at 257 and one half pounds, 116.8 kilos. He's here tonight fighting out of Romania. Please welcome Mr. Gentleman, Benjamin Abdekbui. And your referee in charge of the glory ring is Tobias Gerald. Gentlemen. Okay, guys, this is the final of the glory heavyweight contender tournament. You know the rules, respect my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Fight good, fight clean, fight hard, make the best man win. Any questions from you? Any questions from you? Touch glove, back to your corners. Back to the corner. Back to the corner, bro. Judge, judge, judge. Back to the corner, judge. A future judge. title shot is on the line Time. in this <laughs> glory 35 heavyweight contender finals. Benjamin Bowie in the white gloves and Mladen Brestovac in the black. Brestovac 0 and 2 against Bowie. Both of these guys get a future title shot against Rico and both of them have losses against Rico. Adekbui lost twice and Brestovac once at Glory 28. Once again, Brestovac starts with the high kicks. Adekbui going to work on the body. Brestovac gets a kick to the ribs. Inside low kick, but countered by Adekbui. So Brestovac is using a high shield defense to block the punches and he's countering with his kicks and constantly changing levels. He'll hit the inside leg and the body. But again, Adekbui constantly pressures you, constantly throws volume, and look for Adek Bui to mix in that rear low kick. Low kick there from Adek Bui. Brestovac returns the favor. And that's what he needs to do. If Adek Bui starts gaining momentum with his combinations, that's when he's very dangerous. So Brestovac needs to counter back right away. Early in that first fight, Adek Bui really found a rhythm and he seems to have it going again here, working the body and then going up top to the head. Knee from Brestovac blocked. That's another good weapon against uh, being a southpaw. As Adek Bui tries to come in with his boxing, switch that left kick to a left knee. As we saw, Brestovac can end a fight in an instant. You know Adek Bui is thinking about that left high kick. Body shots from Adek Bui. Now, the pressure no, from Adek Bui is very difficult, but Brestovac did a good job at using his jab. He needs to keep Adek Bui away with either straight punches or movement. Adek Bui's got some fast hands, too. Don't make you pay quickly. And you hear the corner of Adek Bui saying closer, meaning keep that distance close. Keep the boxing and low kicks going. Adek Bui popped a couple of jabs that got through. The rest of us slips. No knockdown. Again, in the finals of a tournament, this fighter suffers three knockdowns in the round, or four in the fight. They will lose by way of TKO. That left kick from the close range from Brestovac is so dangerous. Even in punch range, he'll get that kick right up and over the glove. But he needs to stay out of those corners, try to move out, create a little bit more space to land that kick. Or counter back with his punches. Uppercut sneaks through from Adek Bui. A oh, big inside kick from Adek Bui. The low kicks are already adding up, just like their last fight. Stop. 
Roman Ogdegbui took it up a notch there in the latter half of that first round. You can see Adegbui really started his professional career later than most. And um, he's still new in his career and he's still learning. And this camp change could be very good for him. And he only has two losses in glory, both to his now teammate, Rico. So he wins tonight. He has his chance against his teammate. So it's interesting to see how they decide uh, what's going to happen for that camp. Restovac known as the Scorpion Sting. And it's that left kick that made him very popular. It's that Croatian trademark kick, just like his countryman. Mirko Krokop and his idol. He's always said Krokop is a legend. Fight! Round number two underway. The Glory 35 Heavyweight Contenders Tournament Finals. Adet Bui, White Gloves, and Restavac in the black. Don't blink, folks. This fight can end any second. Adek Bui right back to those low kicks. In the first round, he was using his boxing to set him up. Now he looks to be countering the hands of Brestovac. Knee blocked, and Adek Bui lands a couple body shots. I like that knee from Brestovac, because Adek Bui is constantly trying to close distance, so he's got to meet one of those knees as he's coming in. I think that's his money shot. <laughs> Uh, he needs to keep up with those. Maybe mixing his kick now, then his knees constantly change between the two. Okay, Bui pushing the rest of us back with the high kick. Okay, Bui gets it. Bristovac. You can look at total kicks. Bristovac is leading with total kicks, but let me tell you, Adek Bui is constantly mixing in low kicks, and that's what did damage at the end of the first round. Starting to slip that jab through the defense of Restovac as well. Adek Bui slowing down in the second round. That could be the fatigue from his first fight. Stop. Midway through round number two, schedule four three. There was the left high kick that Adek Bui blocked to perfection. Definitely a better round for Brestovac. Adek Bui slowing down. That body kick may have hurt Brestovac a bit. That looked like it was to the leg, and that's what's that's what's hurting Brestovac, and that's how he lost that first fight. Does Adek Bui have the energy to continually throw that kick? All fighters breathing hard with one minute to go in round number two. And you see what Brestovac is doing. He kicks underneath the elbow of oh. Adek Bui. He's going to throw that a few times, and that's when he slips in the high kick. He's and again, the rest of us did not have a lot of time to rest that first round knockout. This is round five for Adek Bui, and really round three for rest of us. Starting to recognize and blocking. He needs to keep countering with that left kick. Keeps throwing that body kick, Restovac. Keep it up. Mixing that knee. Restovac trying to create some distance so he can throw his trademark left head kick. Adek Bui is controlling the center of the ring with pressure, but it's Restovac is doing more of the volume and could be stealing this round. Oh. Well, two rounds are in the books. Joseph Altolini, how do you have this one scored? Well, the first round definitely goes to Adek Bui. He did uh, he a lot more accurate with his strikes and his scoring. And at the end of the first round, he was able to land those rear low kicks that slowed Restovac down. But this second round, is, I'm going to go with Restovac taking that round and one round apiece. Check out some of the second round highlights. So he blocked Adek Bui's recognizing the dangerous left kick of Adek Bui. So there's those knees he's trying to mix up the middle and he's doing a great job at defending the punches and countering with his kick.
But Adek Bui is doing a great job at, at blocking those kicks. Adek Bui, they saw that fight and how Brestovac ended it against Jafar Wilnes. He is blocking that left high kick. Round number three underway. And both fighters come out firing. This is a very important round. Round two could have went either way, so Prestovac still needs to keep up with that volume he was showing in the second round. Cardio comes into play with these two big men. But Prestovac is doing a good job at blocking Adekbui's low kick. He's using his rear low block or a cross block. Looking at total strikes thrown, it's very even and landed is very even also. It was that second round that really helped Prestovac. A very even, razor thin fight so far between Adek Bu and Prestovac. Prestovac kicking from the corner. Prestovac right will be separated. The problem is Prestovac is landing, but he's keeping his back against the ropes. It, it doesn't look like he's dominating because he's constantly fighting, backing up. Agreed, it looks like Adek Bui is the more active fighter. But Adek Bui does a great job when he mixes his low kick off his punches. You gotta mix it when you throw it. Change the timing up. Dennis Crawley in the corner of Adek Bui. Continually calling, stay close. Yeah. He wants to avoid those left high kicks. Combination for Restabach, mostly blocked by Adek Bui. See, he's constantly throwing back, but he's fighting backing up and against the ropes. And that high kick, he got through, but it doesn't seem to have the power it had earlier. And now, Adek Bui teeing off. This fight could come down to this last minute. Two big shots landed by Adek Bui, pushing Restabach back. Good counter right hook, and that's what he needs. Those kicks counter right away. Under a minute to go, round number three. The Glory Heavyweight Contenders Tournament Trophy on the line. This is all about the boxing of Adek Bui and the kicks of Restovac. But let me tell you, Adek Bui is doing a good job of mixing his own kicks. Restovac gets the high kick through. Approaching 30 seconds to go here in the third. those low kicks that the pain showing on Brestovac's face could steer the judges towards a decision to add a group. We'll see how the judges score it. The decision is up next. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. All five judges see the bout the same and score this one 30-27. A unanimous decision for your winner. And now two-time glory contender tournament champion, Benjamin Adebui. Here to present the Ramon Deckers Trophy and the certificate, our Chief Executive Officer, John Franklin, and our Head of Talent Operations, Mr. Cor Hebbers. Congratulations, man. Thank Second you very time. Much. Yeah. Good job. Good Thank job. you very much. Benjamin, congratulations on your win. You've managed to beat this man three times in a row. What was the difference tonight? Uh, it was a big difference because uh, I wanted this so much. Glory gave me this opportunity and uh, I wanted to show so much that I'm capable to win again the tournament. I've uh, even made some changes in my career. I've changed gym. I train uh, at another gym now in Super Protein with Dennis Crowell one of the best uh, trainer in the world. Uh, but first of all, I want to dedicate this victory to my family. 
uh, because for all the preparation, I was uh, not home, I was in Holland, and uh, I miss them so much, so this is for you. Next up, a future title opportunity against Rico Verhoeven. You've fought him twice before, both times you came up short. Why would the third time be different? <laughs> It's a nice question, man, because <laughs> his trainer is now near to me. So, yeah, you never know. Uh, we just train, and uh, when the chance comes, we see what, uh, what uh, comes out. I will prepare better. I'm already feeling better, so definitely will be a nice fight. Hey, Dennis, you train both of these guys. What kind of challenge will he possess or propose for Rico when they fight for a third time? Listen, it's very simple. When, before Benny come to us, we decide together with Rico if we're going to bring and work together. They make each other better. Uh, before it's time for the next title belt, it will be a long time. There were some more fights for us, so I don't want to think about that. I only want to say these two boys make each other better. All right, and they will fight again. Congratulations on your win. Good luck in the future. Us. Thank you, Nice. Great crowd. Thank you, Glory. Who's up?